Today, let's make some crispy duck breast, aka magret de canard. Hi, this is Etty, and welcome to my kitchen. What I've noticed in America is that people don't cook duck at home. They cook chicken, beef, pork, lamb, fish, but they don't cook duck. But duck is basically just a swimming chicken that's more flavorful, with a juicier meat, and with extra thick, delicious skin. French people eat duck all the time. It's everywhere. Duck pâté, duck foie gras, duck rillette, duck confit, etc. You got it, it's everywhere. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a crispy duck breast. But first, hit that like button and subscribe and help me grow my channel around the world. So I'll make sure my duck press is at room temperature, then I'll pat it dry with the help of a towel. Using a sharp knife and the crosshatch method, I'll start scoring through the skin, making sure I don't touch the meat. Then I season it with fresh black pepper and some sea salt and just rub it in. I bring my pan to high heat, throw some oil in it, and drop my duck breast skin down for five minutes. Look at that duck fat coming out. Then I'll season it with some salt, black pepper, and after five minutes, I flip it over, and then cook it for five more minutes on the other side. I like my duck breast medium rare, so I use my fingertip to check on the tenderness. After five minutes, it should feel slightly more firm. I set my duck breast aside and let it rest. I love using rhubarb for my garnish. So I cut them into batons, bring my pan to high heat, add some oil, add my rhubarbs in it, throw some brown sugar to caramelize them, and then stir it just like this. Then I add some cinnamon, just a pinch of cinnamon for the taste. One star anise, and I keep stirring it. I add some red wine vinegar, about three tablespoons and one big tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. And then I keep stirring it. Then add some more brown sugar and stir it until your rhubarb gets soft on the outside but still has some crunchiness on the inside. Then I get some bok choy, make sure they're nice and clean and throw them in a pan with some oil, medium heat. I'll throw some salt, black pepper and stir them once in a while. Now add some more oil and cover it for about six to seven minutes. After that time, I lay on my board and take out the stems. For my sauce, I'll add about a tablespoon of flour in my leftover duck fat, and then about a tablespoon of butter. Then I add some salt and whisk it until your sauce thickens. Taste it, and I'll add the bok choy in it just to get an extra duck taste on my plate. Now that my duck has rested after five minutes, I'll cut it in slices. Look at this, this is how you get a medium rare duck breast. I lay out my bok choy, my rhubarb, and my duck on top, and drizzle that sauce. Don't be shy, as much sauce as you want. And then I'll just add a little bit of orange zest for the touch of color. And voila, a beautiful magret canal with rhubarb and bok choy. Our duck breast is ready, now let's try it. So I try to get a little bit of everything on this bite. The bok choy, the rhubarb. This is it. You want a nice crispy skin on the outside and a nice tenderness on the inside. So guys, you make sure that when you cook it on the skin side, don't overcook it. Five minutes is enough. The brightness of the rhubarb just cuts through the duck fat. Why bok choy? Because I love the crunchiness and the buttery flavor. Who knows, maybe now you cook your duck at home. Thanks for watching, there'll be a new video every week. So please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time.